If, if, if all you're doing, Pastor, if you're watching me today, and you're watching Hal today, if all you're looking at is demographics, the kingdom of God is not demographics. The kingdom of God is not reason. The kingdom of God isn't economic. Because some of the craziest things I've done, I've started, like for Vatra Village, this, this place is, is cost us way over a million dollars. And um, uh, when I started, I had not a penny, not a dime. We had no reserves. And this guy shows up. We actually were opening a house in Ukraine at the time. And uh, this guy drove up from Moldova and says, look, we, we want you to have this property. And I, and I looked at him and I thought, oh, you shouldn't be sitting here. And I said, let me pray. Yes, we'll do it. And I jumped off a cliff. And you only stir up. You know when you're in a lake and you stir up the mud when you're walking along? You know, it, it stirs up the sediment. You only stir up God's sediment when you get in the water and start to walk. Yeah. Everything is pristine and clean and nice and hunky-dory and fine. But the moment you move towards your miracle, the moment you move towards your destiny, you get in there and God's mir miracles begin to stir under your feet. Abraham, whatever you put your foot, foot down, that's what I'm going to give you. And until you come to the place of loving, I love what I do. Folks say to me all the time, you know, how do you do what you do and how do you support all these kids and... You know, we, we spend tens of thousands of dollars a month for supporting these kids. I got pictures this morning of one of our kids that is deaf, never had care. And she got hearing aids today in Moldova. And we paid for those hearing aids and the tests and everything else. And folks say, how do you do it? I can't imagine myself doing anything else. I love it so much. And when you love something that much, it's no longer a job. Hal, I was, I was in church one day and our pastor was preaching and he, and he was talking and he says, you know, if you're, if you're working, show up a few minutes early every day and, and sometimes work through lunch and be the last one to leave and, you know, you, you, you're, you're, you're going to pay your due. And I'm, I'm sitting and I, I nudged my wife, Chrissy, and I says, Chrissy, I have never worked a day in my life. And she looked at me and said, what do you mean? I don't work. I, I don't do what this guy's talking about. What I'm doing is... If, if, I, if someone walked in here just now and gave me a hundred million dollars, I'd be doing exactly the same thing I'm doing right now, only bigger and in more countries and saving more kids. Because it's not a job. Man, this is the joy of my life. And if you're tired and weary of what you're doing, my brother or my sister, why don't you realign yourself and think, God, this is a privilege to be used by him.